today I'm going to show you how to build Raiden Shogun for beginner. Raiden Shogun talent. So let's begin with her passive talent. This one. Each 1% above 100% energy recharge that Raiden Shogun possess grants her 0.6% greater energy restoration from Musho Ishin and 0.4% electro damage bonus. So this means the more energy recharge you have, the stronger you will be. Raiden Shogun talent's priority. So your first priority is her ultimate, the lightning sword. This one do a lot of damage. Your second priority is the eye. This one can help your teammate do damage while she is not on the field. And your last priority is her normal attack. Now let's talk about Raiden Shogun weapon. Any energy recharge substat weapon is good on her example. The prototype star lighter or the Favonius lens. If you need grit damage, the black cliff pool is pretty good for you. If you need grit great, the dead match is pretty good for you. But the only problem with this weapon is you have to pay $14 in the battle pass to get it. The best 4 star weapon for Raiden Shogun is the catch because that weapon substat is energy recharge and it's also increase Raiden Shogun ultimate damage but I don't have that weapon on my account right now to show you. Okay let's move up to 5 star weapon. The Skyward Spine is good for her because that weapon base attack is pretty high and that weapon substat is energy recharge. The best weapon for Raiden Shogun is the Engulfing Lightning because this weapon has high base attack and its substat is also energy recharge and this weapon also increase your attack based on your energy recharge. Now let's talk about artifact for beginner. There is only one good artifact set for beginner that is the exile set. 2 piece set will increase your energy recharge 20% and with 4 piece set using an elemental burst generate 2 energy for all party member so the 2 pieces and the 4 pieces is all good you don't need to farm artifact set until AR45 because at AR45 you will guarantee 5 star drop in the artifact domain okay so let's begin with the hat your main stat should be attack and your sub stat you should prioritize energy recharge attack percentage grid damage and grid rate next is the cup so if you have a lot of energy recharge on raiden shogun you should prioritize your main stat is attack and your sub stat is energy recharge attack percentage grid damage and grid rate for the sands, or I call it the clock, your main stat should be energy recharge and your sub stat you should prioritize energy recharge, attack percentage, crit damage and crit rate. For the feather, the main stat will always be attack and the sub stat you should prioritize energy recharge, attack percentage, crit damage and crit rate. For the flower, the main stat will always be HP. And the substat you should prioritize energy recharge, attack percentage, crit damage, and crit rate. Now let's talk about Raiden Shogun constellation. Please don't be stupid like me and waste your money on your constellation. But if you want to waste your money, C1 is good, C2, C4, and C6 is really really great. Raiden Shogun team. So in Raiden Shogun team, you should always have one electro in your team and after that you should always have one hydro or one pyro or one cryo in your team and now you are wondering why is that because when you have two electro in your team uh, your superconduct overload and electro charge have 100 percent to generate an electro elemental particle how to use Raiden Shogun? It's really easy. You just need to drop her elemental skill and then swap to everyone else and use their ultimate and then swap back to Raiden Shogun to use her ultimate. That's it.
I want to be friends with you guys so all of my social media is in the description. Subscribe for more beginner guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.